So let's talk real quick about how to add pages to your website and thereby create the navigation system for your website. Now, before you do this, it's a really good idea to come up with your information architecture, or that's a fancy way of saying, decide what pages you want and how they're gonna be organized. Because usually what you wanna have is a navigation that has around five main top level pages, like the five pages that will go here in my nav bar. And if you have more, they should be able to be grouped in those five top level pages and have drop down menus. It Weebly assumes that you're not having a massive, huge website like Amazon.com or Target.com. If you do have a website like that, then it's probably more than Weebly can handle. Now, Weebly, can you can have unlimited pages, but remember that we're trying to create websites that are very easy for people to use. So again, the acceptable or generally acceptable number of top level items is five. If you have four, if you have six, and you really have a need for those, that's absolutely okay. But try not to go over that. So let's go to pages. And I know I always wanna have a home page, and you can decide if it should be hidden from the page navigation, but I'm gonna create all of these in navigation for right now. You can choose what kind of layout it'll be. So if I want my home page to be a splash page, which I don't generally like, but if you had a reason for a splash page, like maybe you have a coupon for this month or you're having a big sale or maybe your business is closed for a month due to construction or whatnot, you might want to create one of those pages. But for right now, I'm just going to leave the layout the way they, they are. And I want all of my pages to be public, but I can also do anyone with a site password or specific members or groups. And advanced settings is something that we're definitely gonna talk about when we get into search engine optimization and how we can make sure that this site is found on Google and other search engines. For, so for right now, we just wanna create the pages. So I know I wanna have a home page. Once I have my home page created, I'll click add. And I wanna do a standard page. Now a blog page is where you can write, you know, kind of journal entries. This is where you can write um, a blog is essentially an online journal and it can be about whatever you want and those are pages that are handled or organized a little bit differently. If you want a store page then you can definitely add a store page and if you want an external link like you wanted this site to go to or this link on your navigation bar to go to an outside site you can do that here. For now I just want to do a standard page and here's my new page I'm going to give it a name. So this one I'm going to call um, about me, about Jessica, or about, or about us, or whatever I want to call it. So I'll just do a generic about, and I'm not going to worry about any of this different stuff. I just want to create my navigation right now. So I'm going to do another standard page, and this one I want to call portfolio. And this is going to show all the different work that I have created. And I definitely want to have a contact page so that people can get a hold of me. And then I'll do maybe an external link. And this time I want it to go to my outside MCC page where that's my official program page. So official MCC page. So this is where I can type multimediamcc.com. And I want to open it up in a new tab so that it ha keeps this website open and the new website open in its own tab. So then I can choose the order I want these to appear in. So I probably want the about or the portfolio to come right after home and the about to come after that, then contact and then my official MCC page. So let's go back to build and you'll notice now that in my navigation area, I have five different pages on my site. Now if I go back into pages, I have a lot of different kinds or areas of design and I want to have a portfolio for my graphic design, a portfolio for my web design, and a portfolio for my video and animation. So this is, because they're all portfolios, they can be underneath this main portfolio. So I can go ahead and add a new page. It's going to be a standard page. And this new page is going to be called graphic design. And now I want to actually put it underneath portfolio and notice if I put it right underneath it so that they're equal, when I go back to build, graphic design is now in that top level. And that is not what I wanted. 
So I'll go back to pages, grab that graphic design, and notice when I kind of move it around, there's a point where it actually snaps kind of underneath portfolio or as an indented button of portfolio. And that's going to create a drop down menu. So I can go ahead and add a new standard page and I can call this web design and drag this up underneath there. And then I can add another one called video and animation and drag that underneath. So let's go back to build. And now you can see that the portfolio actually has a drop down menu. And then we have our about contact and an official MCC page. So that's as easy as it is to make pages and create navigation in Weebly. So when I go back to pages, you can keep doing the same thing. Let's say in graphic design, I wanted to add a specific page for logos. And I can drag that and notice that I can create a flyout menu off of graphic design as well. So I can create another standard page for, let's say, flyers and drag that underneath. And now when I go back and I go to portfolio, graphic design now has this arrow off of it because I can go to a portfolio that features just my logos, just my flyers, etc. If you want to delete a page, because I think this is a little bit much, I can click on this page, delete it, copy it, or save and edit it. So I'll just delete that page and click on flyers and delete that page. And there we go. That's the basics of adding pages to your site. Now for each one of these, I can decide what kind of layout I want. So for my portfolio page, I actually don't want to have a header because this is going to be just straight images all the way around. So for all those different portfolio pages, I can do no header. And then the about page, maybe I want to do a landing page where it has a picture of me and a little blurb or maybe my favorite quote. And then the contact page, I want to do maybe a short header that kind of has a fun design at the top. And I can't change the layout of an official MCC page because that's an outside page. And then my home page, I just want to do a tall header because that's where I'm going to have my slideshow. So now if I come back to build, I can click on home and you can see this large, large page. Click on portfolio and notice it doesn't have that large image and it really doesn't have anything because I wanted it to be perfectly empty. On my about page, I have a headline where I can have this picture behind it. So maybe I want a picture of me designing or teaching or whatnot contact page has a shorter header and then the official MCC page even though I try to click it doesn't go anywhere once I publish it it's actually going to go to that outside site so in the next video we're going to talk about how to change your Weebly site settings